welcome back cardboard addicts to another episode here on the channel we got another juicy episode today but uh we are missing one of ours harley um i mean hopefully nobody's gonna be going on long rants so you'll probably miss them but <laughs> i'm just we're, kidding harley i love you we'll buddy. do our best to fill in don't worry. <laughs> we all love harley he's uh he's a ray of sunshine here so it's gonna be a little awkward without him but uh you know we're gonna have fun all the same because that's what we do here including uh some some really big topics for you guys today uh we're just gonna kind of kick things off with some digimon talk so uh what do you guys think about this new digimans game we we do digimans we do do digimans <laughs> well we know that they at least have a new set coming out right we, yes uh, lots of them set. yeah they, yes. they got a lot of stuff planned on like pokemon or well i guess at least they let us know what they have planned a lot more than pokemon. <laughs> a little bit more in yeah. advance yeah, they're just like we've got the next six sets here you go get ready to pre-order <laughs> yeah and they, they they do they put the card lists off they don't really they're not trying to hide stuff from from us and be like it's not a guessing game i mean the what demand is gonna in... get and then everybody's like waiting and waiting and then all of a sudden everything goes on pre-order and you're like oh gotta hurry up and buy it uh, yeah two weeks before you know? the set releases and then they're yeah. like here's all the cards in the set and then you're like why did i pre-order to that i don't care about it <laughs> you know but well i mean they don't have the demand that pokemon does so they're they're trying to like appeal to people and get as much money in beforehand as possible and i don't blame them for it so but i mean digimon is pretty cool all the same but yeah i mean especially just from an artwork set like i'm like i guess uh thought process it's very very artistic and appealing you know very eye-catching to see some of these well and and you know what they're made it's made by bandai which is the same company that makes the the dragon ball super cards which also look phenomenal so i mean oh, they yeah. kind of like if you look at the cards you <laughs> that's you can, not biased at all <laughs> well you can you can really tell like they're they're made by the same manufacturer or at least you know like Have even the card it, yeah. you know the card the stock is all the same the quality itself. is good yeah you can yeah. tell by yeah. looking at it i've opened both dragon ball and i've opened both uh and digimon and uh, even the japanese side and they they have the same quality it's like whereas you open a pokemon pack in jet and japan um uh, japanese and it's a uh, <laughs> way different feeling than the one for korea or one from uh, the you know english sets yeah but digimon has like they are consistent and they're printed in the same place right um, yeah. do and... they print the same for japanese and english like is it in the same place still mm -hmm. oh okay it's, it's just, yeah. uh, see that's what it is man you gotta have that <laughs> but even even like so like even with pokemon i was just looking at and we are going to talk about that so one of the big things that we're going to talk about is the celebrations leaked cards right and i just want to like really quick mention it because uh we're gonna be just like pokemon and we're gonna give you just enough information to keep you hooked yeah to give you a little taste of it and leaving yeah. you wanting more so so i i was lucky enough to have a good friend of pokemon legends tv send me a couple of the celebration cards that he opened up four packs of and so we have those here. So we got a nice little treat for you guys to see from our podcast the the cards that he sent. And um, but you can tell that even in different factories for English cards, Pokemon is different. And I'm going to show that later in this episode, not just with the celebration stuff, but with uh, evolving skies. Yeah. Oh, really? It's it's becoming a thing, so yeah, we definitely have to talk about it. Yeah, the, but, the quality on Digimon is really, really good. And the next set that's coming out here in, in Japan uh is next adventure. BT seven, next adventure, yeah. Yeah. So the so, next adventure is gonna be a pretty cool set. Like look at that second card right there. They're just playing in that little pool. Like doesn't right. that just warm your heart? All right. Look, like this first this first row is pretty interesting. You're like Oh man, this is a little cutesy TCG. But then, then you get into like little <laughs> evil dudes. Second row. <laughs> yeah, the, you the get into Lego those little Agumon. evil dudes. Digimon is hilarious because it's like all over the place. You know, you got the little cutesy Digimon, and then you've got Toy Agumon right there, badass Burning Greymon just coming yeah. at you. You know, <laughs> wait, it's till like, you, wait till you get four rows down. 
Yeah. So we'll get to those. But uh, so what do we have here? We got a cat. We got a kitty cat. An armored kitty cat. You got a, a, a pool party. So you got a pool party going. The big deal about this set is it's actually bringing in hybrids. Hybrids where you're actually, I don't know how the dynamics going to work with the, the actual process of getting them to do it, but it, it looks super cool. Some of these Digimon are really wicked when we start getting into them. Um, they also are going to focus a lot on Digimon, the second season or the second series, Digimon 02. So we're going to see a lot of those tamers and stuff coming, which was super cool. That one's but, honestly a really interesting yeah. Digimon, by the I way. I was going to say it's funny because they're like, let's make a Lego Digimon. Yeah. We're looking at uh, Toy Agumon for those who can't visually see what's going on here. But it's basically Agumon Lego version. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it actually looks much. pretty cool, though, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. It probably doesn't even have to have any attacks. It can just lay on the floor and let the opponent step on it and it dies. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> um yeah it's actually pretty interesting there's a uh, a flame on which looks pretty cool um they, i mean like the cards just look so good they uh the art is you know just fantastic on yeah that one is that one's a sick looking card oh, come on I, I like that one yeah so i mean this kind of goes back to it too is we like I think most of us here on the Cardboard Addicts podcast, we we are into the artworks of these cards. I mean, that's part of the reason why we became collectors of all these different TCGs anyway. But Digimon is one of those that just like there's no bad card. Like there's yeah. there's a lot of Pokemon cards. I'm just like, yeah, they don't impress me. But well, currently within the meta, there's a couple bad cards in this set that they've already identified. And there's there's oh. Oh, uh, you know, you, I know what you mean. We mean artistically. <laughs> I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking artistic. artistic, artistically. Artistically, <laughs> artistically, they don't look bad. You mean like on a real even, note, they misprinted on it already, and they acknowledged it, and they're saying we're just putting it out, but it means this. It's, so there's uh, error some, cards. Some, is what there's already saying. error cards on this. Oh set. man, so, you shouldn't say that too loud really because cool. yeah, your your uh, beloved uh, Digimon card game here is about to be uh, scalped to high heavens if. People can get their hands on error cards. So well, now, are the, the error thing. cards are the error cards just in Japanese or English? When they come over or to the English, I'm sure they'll fix the actual yeah. typing and stuff uh. like that. Um, but it's only a four, four or five of the cards, and it was that first mean card that you actually showed was one of them. Mm. Um, but it's the thing is, this game is looking healthy. It's actually like not only is it like gorgeous, like we can see these. You know, they, so many cool cards in here, but the actual the dynamic, the, the, the actual gameplay is like really catching people with a storm. And you can tell this game is going to do well because they've got plans going into the future for a lot of product. And you know, a game is not is going to be doing well when they put out a lot of product. You know, if they're right. putting here and here and there, then it may not be doing <laughs> so well, MetaZoo. But <laughs> it's it's, you know, it's one of those things. Is you know, you, you, it's doing good, good. But I hope they just don't fall into a rut like Pokemon and start making like massive sets or you know just here we're just gonna give you these cards and you have to pay this much money to get too much. Yeah. Well, well how how big are these sets uh, currently? Sudan. They haven't gone over, I think, 125, even in the English side on this side. I don't think they've gone over that. Does it tell you on those cards? I think it does say on the initial page. Let me go there real quick. It's it's not on the card list page, but I mean the um what's 15. The only thing is that they are coming out with more and more alternate arts and we are seeing that in every tcg at this point every mm -hmm. tcg is just taking advantage of alternate arts um because it's it's a cool thing to get you know you, you buy your cards you get you pull the regular one and then you're like oh there's an alternate art of this one and then it looks even better than the regular one you know and it's um i think so all the tcgs are trying to take advantage say? of that 120 okay it says include... card types but i yes card type card type is uh is a number of cards. Okay, so, yeah, it's so now does that include, I guess, the parallels? Um, 
it says because they don't um, call them they don't call them alternate arts they call them parallels right so you don't so it yeah, breaks down the rarities so yeah. the types it says uncommon or there's 44 uncommon there's 30 rare 26 super rare 10 campaign eight secret rare and then two and then it's, oh 18 parallel in, included in this product so yeah i guess in the 120 i guess there's 18 or yep. there's 138 i don't know hmm. so i i think that's pretty awesome that they're doing it kind of allows for because there's a lot of artists out there we had one on last week really awesome artist chris and it's good to see that they can do uh, you know because you know seeing this one yeah you have a nice card here um and you have that window for the art then you have to have all the art you know all the little information for how to play the card and stuff like that mm -hmm. usually is a book if it's Yu Gi Oh. um but <laughs> the art is actually able to showcase other artists and i think it's, it allows them to do a different take on that part too. like no i have a story i wanted to tell for this character you know and so let me draw that Super cool. Uh, you I'm know, just like I'm distracted by the cards that he's showing on the screen here. They yeah. just gorgeous. Okay, like, oh, I, I want well, that. they are. It, Let me tell you, Zucchini they're, Mon they're looks good. freaking amazing. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I skipped ahead and look, I'm looking Did at. You the say Zucchini Mon? I said Zucchini Mon. <laughs> uh, is that because because Zucchini Mon? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I heard that. Right. <laughs> hey, listen. I mean, I mean, you know what? It was it was funny because he's kind of green, and I was just like, well, and then why. and then it's Z U C H. I started in the middle of the of the name, and it's like you said Zoo. it so confidently. That's why I, was yeah, like, I thought it was. A joke. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's definitely. He did that on purpose. And then when I asked, you're like, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, I mean, for Zucchini, this guy looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Want to meet him in a back alleyway? Zap. Yeah. I mean, so, so I, Sudan, I, I did want to ask something because um, you are very much into this game and you seem to know like how to play it and you know, very much about like the, the battle side of it. Um, return to. Oh, <laughs> where. Are they actually setting up like tournaments and such to play or what's going on with it in terms of like um, how can somebody just go to a card shop and, and play this game right now? Or is it something that they're not sanctioning because of the the pandemic or? Yeah, right there on the screen there. They have they have been doing in-person tournaments. They have uh I think they've done some virtual tournaments. I haven't had a chance to tune into any of them. Um, they, they, they have a Asian market. They have a European, and I think they have also one here in the English. I tried to find one in my local area, and it's also the only place nearby, apparently, is the one shop I won't go into anymore. So it's unfortunate there. Hmm. But hopefully that starts expanding as uh, these uh, situations change back to normalcy. We can actually start getting more in person. Yeah. Yeah. So from, well, from this I, sentence I, right here, I'm guessing that it's going to be at the discretion of the uh, the store. Yeah. So, you know, please check with your host store ahead of time to find out whether official tournaments are being held or not. So, I mean, that kind well, of just, that makes sense, you know, too. Yeah. But, but I mean, my, my local card shop wasn't doing it. And there has been popularity. At, it's to the point where they're starting to buy booster boxes to sell packs of. Um, at, at MSRP, they're not scalping it, um, right. but I it's kind of like flesh and blood with them. They're trying to get people together to get tournaments, but they haven't gotten enough yet. So I was just like, I don't know. And the card shop, I, my local card shop is one of the bigger ones in, you know, southeast Michigan where I'm at. So I was just curious if they if they actually had in-person tournaments or if it was kind of like Pokemon where they're like, you guys, you know, card shops can hold tournaments, but they're not official tournaments or anything like that. It's a, uh, it's kind of interesting because they have been doing them in person. I haven't been able to attend them. Um, I, and that's fun is that Bandai or the Digimon actual Twitter site um, will tweet out any, you know, winners and stuff that have occurred, any wins, any new like dynamic decks that have come out, anything that might've been changes or, 
we're like, oh, this this doesn't work in the meta anymore. You can't do this, which is super cool. We, you know, it took this Pokemon forever to make a separate Twitter site to tell you how to play the game. Right. And, you know, and for Digi or Digimon the Bandai came out immediately. Now, uh, Red was uh, talking about it. Go back in one page real quick there. One more, though. So let's go scroll up there. Now, you're not going to be able to see this on the audio side. I apologize, people. But right, these two rows here with the kids and the Digimon. Yeah. I don't know. And, and I know um, the tag teams. Traximus is going to yes. run me through the dirt for this. But uh, he, I'm not sure what the actual names for these cards, but they are special because they have the, you know, the team up with their trainers with or their tamers with their Digimon uh, and their Mega Forms, which is super cool. These are going to be fun to play, and they're super cool looking. Um, I'm not sure if there's parallels to these ones. I think they, if they are, they are going to be on the next page. On the next, uh, I didn't page. see any. but Yeah, I didn't see any on the parallel side. They but do have the regular game. Tamers, I believe. Yeah. Those are the box toppers that you're going to see the, the, of those Tamers there. Oh, so that these parallels are just wicked. The one that I'm going to be going for is uh, Cherubimon down on the bottom down there. Actually, right there. Next to the bunny looking one. So the last of the ones before the trainers. Oh, you're talking about the plant looking thing. Mm. He's, uh, Kinda, it reminds me of a little leaper, cradley from Pokemon. <laughs> I see that he—he uh, he was a main villain in the first movie, the Digimon okay. movie, and it was super cool because that story was really kind of neat. But I just love that art. That art is just uh give me. Noise it's a cool virus. card. Yeah, it's a cool card. Definitely, well, it's, it's I a would, cool game. Yeah, I mean, I would probably going through these. Ooh, it's tough, man. It's a hard. It's a hard one to pick. Emperor Look Greymon, right there. This this card <laughs> looks so cool. Check this out. Check out his sword. Yeah, the reflection. Oh, it's got the there. reflection. Yeah, it's that got is the actually pretty sweet. Of all these mons. That's going to be hollow foil. You know that. That's going to have that yeah. gold imprint going through there. That is actually going to reflect. You know, just from what they do on the Dragon Ball, that yeah. that's going to be a gorgeous. Just, oh, the reds are going to pop out. There's reds in there, right? Yeah, that, that's uh, insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it's kind of more oranges, I guess. There are some reds, but it's more oranges. But yeah, there's there's I mean, red hues. Yeah, there's red hues. So I mean, like this is this is insane. This is uh, Emperor Greymon holding it. It's his giant sword towards towards you, and the reflection of a bunch of different mons is in the actual sword. Which is, I mean, like that's yeah, that's it, crazy. It's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of detail in that card. I'm I'm gonna buy packs, you know, maybe even a booster box of this. So I, I'll be I'll be happy if I pull any of those. Well, the thing is, is you also saw like from what we've opened, I've opened a few just random just packs that I grabbed off the shelf, nothing out of a booster box, and every pack pretty much guaranteed a hit of sorts. You well, know, you get that's... two. What well, you get two rares in every pack. Um, yeah, but you're not guaranteed. You're not guaranteed like a hollow or anything. But the the pull rates are much better than yeah. that of Pokemon. I mean, I guess that's the it. sets are yes. also a lot smaller. So you know what I mean. Yeah, to that's some true. degree, I guess it. Kind You've of got has a better, be better. But... Yeah, you got a better shot at uh, at getting something, getting something. But yeah, yeah. I mean this uh, this is looking fantastic. I mean, every set so far has been pretty good. I was a little disappointed with Great Legends. Um, same. I, I think that was by far the most lackluster set that's come out so far. And I'm not saying it was bad because I right. actually I liked it. I just when I say I was disappointed in it, I'm saying it was a little bit less interesting than the other ones that I've seen. So I mean, like out of all of them, I think that's probably the the least. Of I my opened favorite. the booster box live with you the other night, and. Uh, mm -hmm. I found myself really want, like I I'm like ah man I wish this was Battle, Battle of Omni. Honestly, it's it's, it's, it's that Battle, it Battle of Omni is amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. and, it, and we got Double Diamond just about to come out for us oh, here God. soon, and that that sets a gorgeous <laughs> set too. I'm going to be but opening up some Double Diamond here look. on this channel because I've got six booster boxes coming, so I, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Two, we saw it in mine. I guess I'm going to be opening up a lot of Digimon. 
Zen Zen arts. has no chill. He just goes overboard with things easy. <laughs> but look, hey, look, that was look, an accident. Guys, but yeah, it was a good accident. If uh, if you guys are having a hard time getting Pokemon, or like you're you're kind of getting down in the dumps about Pokemon, Digimon is is the go to. Seriously, it's going to be the closest related thing to it, and it's just it rivals it in in every aspect. I think in in the gameplay, in the artwork, it, it's even starting to rival it in popularity. For me, the Digimon, only difference. I'm sorry, Shuan. Go ahead. I was just saying, and the thing is, is they're ramping up. They're actually pushing this product. They're not going, oh, we're going to play catch up. They're going, no, 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 no. We're pushing. Yeah. So, like, we're they're almost shoving shops. it down our throats. And we're, first well, they, we're, they've reprinted the heck out of uh, the, the first set and the second set already. Those are the same print. Or they? They haven't, they haven't reprinted. From what I have read, this is actually still the same the batch. There's a second. There's an actual reprint going through, and they're going to flood the market with it. This is just, so that was interesting. So, 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 why did we? Well, I mean, I, I'm. I, were they holding these? Were they holding the product then? Is that what was happening, or? I, I think it might have been a distributor issue. As far as I have read, I, and honestly, I could be completely wrong on this one. I, I'm. I'm willing to admit I'm wrong at some times. But uh, <laughs> the, the, the thing is, is that this is, from what I've heard, this is still the same print from the first run. Okay. And I think they just went, here's the initial batch. Let's get the rest of it out. And then I think they had to just send it over here. Yeah. Because the prices did skyrocket on the booster boxes uh, for the first set and the second set. And then all of a sudden there was a lot – of product out and out there and then they drop back down i think you can get the booster boxes now for like 109 dollars uh 110 dollars in yeah, those different places too. so i mean if you wanted to go back and get the base set of digimon like now if you have if you didn't get it before now is the time to get it because i don't think it's going to go much lower than 110 i mean maybe if they do another reprint if they do a big enough reprint it could go down some more, but if they, from what I do, I believe they're going to do what Pokemon promise and hasn't delivered yet and actually print until it can't, it's not selling anymore. They actually mm -hmm. want to print this. Yeah. And I like, they want this game to succeed. So yeah. And they're not, they're throw. not really like going off of collectors and value off of it. They're, they want it to reach as many players hands as possible. Right. That's like the biggest difference between them and Pokemon, and I honestly I like it. And that's the that's the going in the actual design of the game. Look at the actual cards. Yeah, they are simple. A lot of symbols, very little words. It's actually very precise in how to run the actual thing. The game cards you get it in the pack. How to you don't have to have a big map for it. It's just they they they've made this game simple. Now I will say this. Jump on those version ones as soon as you possibly can because you don't know how long and how much of a reprint that will be if when they do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I agree. Also, and, and whether you're a player or whether you're a collector or an investor, because we don't, you know, we don't discriminate here against that. I mean, if you're if you're any of those or all three of them, because there's some people that really are all three. You know, you might be a, a player, collector, and an investor, and you like to keep some stuff sealed for the future. Uh, to open in the future or to sell in the future. I mean, whatever the case is, but now is the time to do it. If you were to, going to get into Digimon to buy that first set, which is your base set, base sets always going to be, you know, for any TCG, for any card game, base set is the one to get because it's always going to go up. Um, A lot of beautiful cards in that vanilla set. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I also recommend, starter decks the blue yellow and red the orange or the yellow no violet red, yellow, black. red red yellow and blue violet black and green those are the six decks that come in, and then they have the red and blue gallantmon and the exvmon coming out with the new set double diamond those are going to be those are like great Get right into the game play because the deck is there set up yeah. it's just like theme decks but better yeah. So, hey, is the uh, is the V one point English Core booster box special release? Is that mm -hmm. the base set? Yes, yes, base set. Yep. So, you know, not to just like plug out certain channels or anything like that, but right now on SafariZone.com, they have them for eighty nine ninety nine. There you go. I mean, that's 
Uh, you will pay ten dollars shipping, I think, with them. But either yeah, way, and I'm, I'm I'm buying it right now, so I'll let you guys know in a second. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> I haven't yeah. gotten one yet. Uh, yeah, so you definitely want to grab that one. That's going to be your uh, base set is version one, and then there's version one point five is the second box that came out. Maybe. Yeah. So I do remember you've got one, yeah. That's your. Uh, let me let me enlarge my yeah, screen here. Big. So they don't. Safari Zone doesn't give you any kind of free shipping. I, I think it's if it's over like one hundred fifty dollars or something like that. Uh, oh, that's not what I want. Oh, to do. hello, Ren. You look beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you. Did you do something <laughs> with your hair? So that's that's a special release booster version one point uh, That's your base set, wow. and then you've got one point five, which is the second set that came out here. Uh, it's, it's con okay. What Digimon is a little confusing <clears throat> because the name says, uh, release special booster. It, it really isn't. It's just a booster box. I mean, I, there's nothing really that special about it. That's just your regular special booster box. It was the first, but if you look at like the, the set name, it's BT zero one dash zero three. So the, it, it gets confusing because of that 03, but then it says version 1 over here. And you're just like, what the heck? Um, <laughs> now, this set is pretty big. This set was 187 types, which means 187 cards. Uh, then you have the second one, which also says BT0103 on it. But then it says version 1.5 over here. And it's got 152 cards. So, yeah, it, it you know. But the thing is, is I, I'll, I'll point this out with that. That's uh, there are no reprints. You may get a different, like you might get an Agumon, that's a red from the very from the one point set, but then you might get from the one point five set another Agumon, but it'll be a blue or it'll be a green, right? Um, which was introduced in the BTO three, the Union Impact, which is uh. But then you also take a look at count that New Evolution had 120 cards. Ultimate Power BTO2 had 120 cards. Union Impact had about 120 cards. They brought those three together, plus the starter decks, came over to America or the English sides, or, you know, made that print go. And you know, these are the smaller, much manageable, collectible sets. You know. Yeah. So it's just like I, I I don't hate the size of these sets. No, they you know, it's they, much better than the two hundred and sixty whatever cards in the newer Pokemon yeah. sets. So it's definitely more manageable for sure. <laughs> I mean, didn't Pokemon have uh, what was it Cosmic Eclipse that had almost three hundred cards? Like well, Cosmic Eclipse was the biggest Pokemon set for a while, I think, but it, I think Evolving I think, Skies passed it by a couple, didn't it? I think Evolving Skies passed it, and I think Fusion is going to pass that so it's, it's just cards. they're just like every set is just going to be bigger and bigger and bigger it's crazy yeah they're they're we're gonna get to a point where it's it like hard. 350 cards 400 cards it's like come on man really you will be able um, to fill a binder you know <laughs> yeah uh, well like for, for people wanting to do master sets that yeah. is incredibly difficult to do yeah. especially yeah. with the amount of like secret rares and alternate arts that are included in like just evolving skies in, in general like, i mean there's so, you so your many booster box for Digimon, and you said you pretty much completed the set, didn't you? Or was that Dragon Ball? Dragon um, Ball, you could pretty much, I think, right? No, nah, that was that was uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Oh, okay. Well, still, now, I imagine you know a Digimon is almost the same, where you probably complete at least like eighty-five percent of the set. I think. And... I think with Digimon, you could probably complete. Um, a good portion of it. The only thing you're going to be missing is obviously the, the secret rares, right? Uh, it's yeah, going to be the, harder to get those. So, but yeah, the parallel. I mean, you could always go and buy whatever you're missing. Yeah. Buy the singles, singles, you know, if you open a booster box and you've got, you know, 80% of it completed, I mean, buying those singles from there to complete it, right. It's probably going to be cheaper and it's, yeah, it's probably not, it's not going to be that difficult. Yeah, see, but I you, was, but I you was can't even do that with Pokemon because Pokemon is literally like you have to open up two cases just to get close to yeah completing a set, and yeah. it's like 
okay, one booster box is doesn't give you anything at all. Like, there's well, no... Yeah. And even if you're not one of the, the people... Like, to me, I, I feel like a true master set is all of the regular cards and, and mm-hmm. all of the reverses of those cards as well. But even yes. if you're not that person and you just want one of every card, you still have to open tons and tons and tons of product just to get those cards. Totally. And in the end, you're you're still going to be missing, like Zen said, all the secret rares and the Q you know, Barley, the hypers and... of Chilling Rain. Well, and I was just looking today because um, I'm always kind of curious on where like some of these alternate art cards go for pokemon some of the more inexpensive ones like the medcam v are still going for like 50 60 dollars and that's on the that's the cheaper ones like the the alternate art rayquaza is upwards of 200 dollars. yeah so i mean like if you were trying to collect them all just in the alternate arts alone you're you're already you could buy two thousand dollars yeah oh easy Mm -hmm. Easy. That's right now, but eventually, they I mean, they may drop down. I was looking at some of the old Sun and Moon sets for some some of the old cards, you know, and just to see, and like the rares and the you know, hyper rares and stuff like that going. And they're st- they're dropping down, but not like it's not not, not enough to make much of a difference to the average collector, though, in right. my opinion. Yeah, because I mean, even the the yeah. alternate art Tyranitar from Battle Styles is still, you know, upwards of like $75 or so. Yeah, and I'm just like, that's well, the only card I want. The, the, the big, one of the other big issues with that is the fact that it's so hard to find these cards mint because, yeah. because really, like, you know, you open up these packs and the cards are in such terrible shape out of the pack that when you pull it and you're like, oh, I finally got the card I want, and then it's all messed up, and you're like, well, I don't really want to show this off because it's it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I Yep. Like that's one yeah. of the things that was funny when we opened our MetaZoo stuff is don't get me wrong, it definitely feels different from Pokemon, but just looking at the cards again, they're still so uniform and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm. the centering is pretty much all we the same. Pretty... Grumpy doesn't clean his desk. Oh yeah. No, it's all just sitting in front of me still, <laughs> but <laughs> it's just, you know, it's that's it's... dude. That's me. I, I, yeah, I have all kinds of cards on my desk right now. It's, it's yeah, I, I want to show you guys, but I don't want to show you guys. <laughs> I don't want to show anybody anything. It's, just, it's sad God, because it's no. like, I love Pokemon. Pokemon is by far the most nostalgic as far as like the anime stuff I've been into and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. it, it literally, it lacks the consistency compared to anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, and that's one of the things yeah. that's been fun during this weird, like, situation of, like, the pandemic and scalping and being hard to find Pokemon product is with you guys, like, you know, being like, oh, well, I opened Digimon or Dragon Ball or something like that. I'm just like, yeah. okay, you know. Well, here's take this moment to plug my, my channel really quick. So, uh, <laughs> since Harley's not here, I might as well do it. Um, in honor so, of Harley. <laughs> in honor of Harley. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, with, that's one of the reasons why I've... I've been at a crossroads with my channel and what I'm going to do with my content because I want to continue to make Pokemon content because I like Pokemon. I love con- Pokemon. One of the things that Pokemon has over Digimon for me is that nostalgia. So mm-hmm. for me, it's like I've always I was a bigger fan of Pokemon than I was Digimon. I watched some Digimon, but it wasn't enough mm-hmm. to really I don't even know the Digimon names like I'm starting to learn them now, but. You know, it's that nostalgia that really gets me into the Pokemon stuff. Mm-hmm. Zucchini Mon. But at some <laughs> point, Zucchini Mon. But at some point, <laughs> it's not enough because of all of the issues that Pokemon has. Mm-hmm. And so, not saying it's not enough as in I'm going to completely stop collecting Pokemon, but I'm taking a back seat and I'm going to say, okay, instead of buying several booster boxes of it, I'm going to buy one booster box. I'm going to open it on the channel and I'm going to be done with it. Uh, you know, I'll try and get an ETB. Of course, now Pokemon saying, well, we're going to make two ETBs, a variety <laughs> of two different ETBs for you to buy. Oh, but wait, now we have exclusive Pokemon ETBs Center. from Pokemon Center. So now you have four mm-hmm. ETBs that you got to collect. And it's like, all right, well, it's getting ridiculous to the point where it's overwhelming. And so I- I've been at a crossroad with my channel because I want to continue to open Pokemon, but I don't necessarily... 
I want to also enjoy the other TCGs. And I felt like if I continued with two different channels, you know, for my Dragon Ball stuff and for the Pokemon stuff, I wasn't going to be able to maintain that because I was, I'm getting more enjoyment sometimes out of the other cards than I am Pokemon. And mm -hmm. Pokemon is my main channel. So what I really wanted to do is I, I said, the heck with it. I'm going to combine them. I'm going to bring back the Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, just today, I recorded a Pokemon video. I recorded a Yu-Gi-Oh video. And I recorded a Super Dragon Ball Heroes video. And those are going to be for next week. For, well, hey, for this, the for this good week. old Zen days. For yes. this week. But... I, I've I'm just I'm like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna have Pokemon as my main thing. The others will rotate. I'll do at least one day a week of Pokemon, but I'm going to also feature all these other TCGs yes. and all these other cards because I like them. I enjoy them, and I know there's a lot of people out there that enjoy them. So that's where I've been with my channel, um, and I haven't been making as much content lately because of that. Uh, but uh, I, you know I'm getting back. I'm gonna get back into it. I'm just gonna have fun with it just enjoy it and uh like you said just kind of take a step back from pokemon just buy enough to maintain the channel mm -hmm. and uh and then buy the other stuff also because you can't really buy, afford all these different card games if you're buying you know cases of pokemon booster boxes <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah. that's the thing that's it's sad and I, pokemon is like i said it's always going to be the most nostalgic for me but I think the only thing that truly keeps me like grounded with Pokemon is the fact that they put out like movies every couple years. They have the the games like every year, pretty much. And the games are the biggest thing. I mean, not even mm -hmm. just like the basic game, like, you know, the new, you know, Pokemon Sword and Shield and upcoming like reprint mm -hmm. basically of Diamond and Pearl. It's like, you know, they've got Pokemon Unite. They've got when Pokemon Quest came out, they've got like stuff like that that keeps you kind of like into pokemon and plus right. you know they make a ton of merchandise where it's like you know can no. you get enough plushies and can you get the no. funkos and you know yeah. like well, all that kind of stuff that's one of the things like and i've mentioned it before um the continuity of pokemon is really what's kept them going mm. whereas sure digimon's kind of survived and dragon ball is extremely popular, but the TCGs didn't have any continuity. You've had still pretty cult. It's well because there's only, there's been what four manufacturers that have made Dragon Ball cards. You know, you had Score make them in the in the beginning, and then it went to Panini, and mm -hmm. then it went back to Score, and then now you got Bandai making Dragon Ball Super, but you also didn't have continuity with the anime, right? You had Dragon Ball became Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z then took a hiatus and you had GT, which wasn't even like, you know, it's like the canon. Ugly redheaded it's not even, yeah, it's not even canon. <laughs> and then, and then you got Dragon Ball Super comes out like years later, but Dragon Ball Super doesn't even have the same continuity because when's the last time we got a Dragon Ball Super episode in, in English? Uh, well, when was the last time we had an animated episode of Dragon Ball? But I mean, the manga is still going and we have supers. Yeah, uh, superheroes. Yes. That yeah, that yeah. still comes out. That kind of technically counts, but you know, it's not it's canon, not, though. It's not. It, but it kind of. <laughs> when you say canon, going, what do you we, mean by that? What's canon, real? Canon um, means canon means like it's accepted as part of the lore or part of the the actual story. So, like for example, uh, the creators of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, basically, when they came out with Dragon Ball Super, they were like. Let's retcon GT. GT never happened. GT never existed. They just ignored it. Toriyama didn't like GT. He he never yeah. agreed to it. So, they wanted to make money. Right. So heroes heroes is, is is a separate thing, and it's good, but it's not canon. Now it, it is using all of the characters from all of the games, and it's using all the characters from like every possible Dragon Ball, uh, you know, thing that they've ever created. So it's pretty interesting because, like, there's really a gazillion. It's a characters. chaotic hodgepodge of D Dragon Ball. Yeah, <laughs> well, but but it, the, the but but it's also a web series. Like, there's not that same continuity where Pokemon. You already know Pokemon's coming out with a new series at a new Location. destination. Yeah, and it's like very yeah. scheduled. They have it's very you know like 
you don't have that with the others. And that's really what I think affects the TCGs because the TCGs are dependent on all those other things as well. Sometimes, you know, there's only, yeah. there's only been one TCG that I know of that has survived a very, very long time without having any sort of c- cartoon anime or anything like that. And that's magic. The Gathering. magic. Yep. <laughs> Until now they just released an anime, I think. On okay. Netflix. Finally, but, they're just like you but, know I'm what? Not, that's Finally. that's not disregarding we'll your argument. That's you <laughs> what know. what I'm saying is that they they started off as a TCG, right? And that is that is Magic: The Gathering is the TCG, whereas Pokemon yeah. is everything else. TCG yeah, is just part of the same. You know? Yeah. I mean, Pokemon. They they've. I think they they there's were smart. To, the TCG might not have survived if they had not brought it in house, and I think. Yeah. Bandai doing the same thing, having that is by not sending it to score, sending it to Panini, you know, letting them have it in house. They have quality control of their own. The Pokemon Slack twenty years later, but I think that's what helped them. Um, well, the listen, Pokemon. that's Plus that's the what planning happened. of these generations every every three four years. Well, a good example of that though is is the Harry Potter TCG. I, I mean, somehow cause... I knew Ren was going to get on. <laughs> well, <laughs> think about it. So. Here. Wizards of the Coast was creating the Harry Potter TCG and it was going strong. And because I tried figuring out for the longest time, like what happened to Harry Potter TCG? It just like dropped off the face of the earth after Chamber of Secrets, which is only the second book and movie in the series. And I'm like, something that was as popular as it was shouldn't have just died off. But what happened was instead of keeping it with War- or, um, Wizards of the Coast or when the Harry Potter was it Wizarding World, it's called now is Wizarding World, but whatever the company was back then, instead of doing what Pokemon did, bringing it in house, they pushed it out to Warner Brothers once Warner Brothers kind of purchased some of the rights to Harry Potter. And they just basically said, We don't really care about trading cards. We want to make movies. So they nixed the whole game. And that's mm. that's kind of what happened with the Harry Potter card. So it's like that could have easily happened with Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, it, it happened right around the same time Pokemon moved. I think Harry Potter stopped when Warner Brothers um, stopped them was like a year after Pokemon switched to the Pokemon Company International. So, I mean, they were they were right there, you know, with each other when that happened. So, I mean, that it's a good point, though. Yeah. That, you know, they made a lot of smart moves in their could've in their been. time to keep them going as is and getting them to the point where they are now. Yeah. Well, I think what's in saying and, uh, and, and it's really true is that the fact that this game has Pokemon has lasted is because the fans have invested into it. Yeah. The community has an invested interest in the anime, the TCG, the collectible side of it. And it is the games is the forefront of it. It started this whole thing. And yeah. I think, Pokemon smart about it. They go, okay, we're we've got the anime, we got all the you know, all these different things going. What's our next step? And they start putting those seeds into as the generation that we're getting now, or we just got, you know, Sword and Shield. We're in that gen. They've already got the ninth gen started. I already, mm-hmm. I, 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 why not? You know, I'm sure that they have an overflow of Pokemon designs. And they know what region they want to go to. They've, you know, been seeding in past games. They'll probably put it in Arceus or whatever the Diamond and Pearl remakes. That that's just what they do. Yep. And so that helps with this continuation. And they so they can go okay. These the sets coming out. That's going to be the other that. I think that's brilliant. And I think more, you know, Digimon has been around, but it's not been really heavily in the front. Well, you it's know? not like it. Like like you're saying with Pokemon, if we all decided that we didn't want to do Pokemon cards anymore, which I mean, it, it feels like a lot of collectors are kind of heading that route where they're slowing down or just stopping altogether. Um, but it's like they can they can go to another thing, and I think a good example of that is me. Most of you guys have already seen it that I had a channel that was doing fairly well where I was opening Pokemon cards pretty consistently. And, you know, kind of what Zen was saying earlier, products start 
they start coming up with different variations of the same product and you know hey we're going to come up with you know 15,000 different collector boxes that all have the same packs just a different promo in it stuff like that and now you have the pandemic the scalping issues and it's just like there's so much going on there that affects your decision to want to keep creating content where it's like i before 2019 i was i hadn't collected pokemon cards since the the neo era so you right. know early 2000s yeah. right. the the thing that kept me into pokemon <laughs> was when i was a little bit younger was the anime because i still watch the anime a little bit but as i was growing up was the video games i always played yep. the video games with the exception of uh, black and white in X and Y. I, I played those a little bit later after they released, but that's what kept me going. And, and it's like, even now it's like, I, I love the cards. I'm still opening cards just on my Twitch, you know, shameless plug. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing a lot more video games too. And it's not even just the main series games. It's like grumpy said, you know, Pokemon unite and, you know, Pokemon go and all those other things too. So that's yeah. that's the thing that Digimon and Dragon Ball and all them they don't have that though where it's like if you fall out of that you can just jump into Pokemon somewhere else you don't have that in, in Digimon so so Digimon they're they're actually coming out Bandai is coming out with a MMO right suit on mm -hmm. we got a new one and it looks gorgeous see and I was gonna say but it's Dragon not Ball. out yet. It, that, no. That's all I'm, I'm kind of saying right it's now. It's just like real engine. if if somehow Digimon got to where Pokemon is, I, I know that's unrealistic to say as of right now. But if it somehow became unobtainable and it was you know unaffordable, I have nowhere else to go to get like my Digimon fix. You know, right, right. Like yeah. of course you can go back and watch the old show and all that, but you can only do that for so much before you watch it all or you run out of patience with it or you just give up on it so well, digimon's got a new series that just rebooted the old series mm -hmm. um that's coming to its conclusion they got a new movie coming out they've got a new tv series um coming out and are they going to really do a, a live action one detective I agumon <laughs> god i hope not they might I mean, the thing is, for me, Digimon and Pokemon, they came out around the same time. They have a similar vein just because they have cutesy monsters, but we've seen the parallels. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've got, uh, you know, HR going to HR Mon on the Digimon side, and then we've got, you know, still cute looking Pokemons on the Ultimate side there. You know, it's very contrasted. But Digimon, for me, has always been, these could be real with holographic technology and stuff we could make digimon real you couldn't make pokemon real because this is stupid <laughs> or you could make pokemon you could make digital pokemon which would be well, they, digi pokemons digi pokemon uh, chinmon well look we're, we're, digimon we're, really we're has the edge up make believe fairy tale looking things over which one is the most realistic <laughs> <laughs> well these but, digimon were meant to be like you know, in the real world, they were meant to be, yeah. and they were as Pokemon's always took what? place in a fantastical world. So, but I look, guess look, Digimon, a, has, Digimon has the Tamagashi, all right? That's all we really need to, to distinguish yeah. between the two of them, is that you can still play a Tamagotchi if you really want to tickle yourself in nostalgia. You can it's use a, a Digimon Tamagotchi. See, the thing, Sudan, Sudan's currently movie, raising two Digimons. They apparently poop a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> but, you know, the thing for me when I was growing up, because they they slowed down on it. Is that a they poop? Still, they've still made some. You sleep in. Oh, I thought it was a poop. He says, "Is that a poop?" <laughs> but the, uh, you know, for Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, all that stuff, they came out with all all those games. Uh, what was it? Budokai, Budokai Two, whatever. Um, and they've come out with a couple more like throughout the years. But it's the thing is, it's just fighting games. You know what I mean? It's not like it's but an it open is. world where like like you play as Goku, like you know what I mean, that kind of thing. But it's just like it's 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 very much just the same fighting over and over again. And it's like at different points in the anime where it's like, oh, in this one, 
you battle up to where you can fight Cell. This so one goes to Frieza, sh- you know, whatever. So you want to take the fighting out of the series where fighting is the main purpose and you just want to be farmer That's the thing, Goku. though. It's like you're basically just making Mortal Kombat. You want to be crying you know Gohan. What I mean? You just want to sit there and cry <laughs> I mean, on the island the whole time. I mean, it's, it's just great. That's the thing about Pokemon is, like, it doesn't exactly follow, like, the anime, per se. Because, you know, you can just go and catch, you can yeah. you can battle, you can do whatever, you can trade. It's it's not it's not exactly the same exact thing as you see in the anime. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, there's not much you can do with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, whatever. So in those, that's the thing with those games is, like, every so often I might have, like, a urge, like, man, you know, I haven't played one of those in forever. I used to play those when I was a kid. That'd be cool. But like I think if Digimon made games similar to how Pokemon does, I could easily see all of us being like, I'll give it a shot. And if it actually does pretty well and they improve on the next one and you know what I mean? Like that's how they would probably really like really make a claim is to make a really good get you know, game like, you know, whatever. And like that's that's my, my I mean, if they manage if they manage to make this MMO very good and people really get into it. That MMO can go for years and years and years. You're talking about, I mean, look at some MMOs that are currently still going. World of Warcraft is now just starting to kind of die off. And it's been 20, the only thing that's what, ever made 15, me 20 in years now was the episode of South Park. 2004 is when World of Warcraft came out. I remember it fondly yep. because they came out and said it was because I was because I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't sleeping at all. I was going uh, I was going to work the next day and not getting any sleep because I was playing World of Warcraft. I didn't get to play it. I was playing Final Fantasy on my PS2. Well, oh, Final Fantasy is another one. So Final Fantasy for online that's been around for a very long time. It's got re- two. It's gotten revamped a few times, right? But from a graphics perspective, but they're still around. Uh, And and if you look at these very successful MMOs, they've been around for such a long time and they're extremely popular. And now I think actually Final Fantasy has taken over the number one spot in the MMOs and took over uh, the WoW spot, which was the number one spot. So World of Warcraft (laughs) dropped to two. So, but, but again, these two have been around forever. If Digimon can manage to get into those, like the top three MMOs and hang in there for a long time and, you know, revamp and make sure that the game doesn't just like look really old, you know, after a year or two or whatever the case is. It's they, yeah, they could, they could, they could make something happen, I think, it, but it's so gotta be good. It's gotta with, be good. With it being an MMO, obviously, I don't know if they've announced anything. So maybe you do know, or maybe this is speculation. But basically, what like what would you be doing in the game? Probably fighting monsters and leveling up, getting going, loot, going on all quests. Yeah, it's all um, about loot. I don't know if I want to play this game. It sounds boring. It's probably gonna get scared <laughs> in the first dungeon. It sounds just a get scared and not it, want it to might, all, all I'm picturing is me playing Skyrim. I mean, that's yeah. probably what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be you playing Skyrim and dying like as soon as you got into the game. So it's fine. Well, all right. Look, 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 look. It's all grumpy. Grumpy has a terrible memory of Skyrim because he was the brilliant man that he is by attacking the town's chicken. Right at the beginning, that was that was um oh god, what game was that? That was that was Fallout. That was a completely different scenario. It's the so same game. Got to my first town, skin. and I went yeah. into the shop it's and attacking I'm, the dog in Fallout. You I'm, can't do that. I'm the game hates you. The then. shop owner, and I'm like, it gives me the option to steal something, and I was like, well, he's messing with the register, so I try, and all of a sudden, <laughs> he 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 knows, and I'm like. Dude, I was watching you. You weren't watching me. Like he obviously didn't see the little eye gates go slightly up, going, "You've been detected." It, it tells you these things. But the, the thing, the game pissed me off so bad because Get so I, I have to shoot him because he draws a gun on me. So oh, I, you know, go wild, wild west, and I'm like, <laughs> and I walk out, and I'm just thinking, there's there's nobody in here, and I've got this little like pea shooter on me. It's like. Some rinky dink, like backyard made pistol, and I walk outside, and the whole town has gathered to, you know, perform. Pitch forks. Seriously. And I was just like, whoa, 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 guys, what are you all doing here? And they're just like, we know what you did. The dynamics of hate in RPGs. Hate is universal. 
The thing is, though, it's like it doesn't make sense. If I was the only one in the shop, I'm the only one who knows what down in the shop then. Well, it, word travels fast in small towns, so. They yeah. have magic cameras. <laughs> and then Skyrim was worse because Skyrim, he said, I meet I meet the king or whatever, and he sends me on my, you know, stupid first quest. I can't oh, read the map. So I'm just like, oh, great. Like, it reminds me of uh, the movie um, Your Highness when like they lose the actual brother that's worth a crap and like he's just wandering like aimlessly and they don't know where they're going it's that and i'm just like cool so i find this cave go in the cave i realize there's nothing in the cave i can do so i come out of the cave and i hear this guy like whistling in the woods and i'm just like <laughs> i'm, I'm alone in the woods i guess i'll go and check it out and i like peek over the woods and it under the hill and it's it's just some like wizard just crafting stuff and i'm like well i wonder what he's doing and he starts casting spells on me and kills me. Well, luckily it saved me right across the hill where I came out of the stupid cave. So I was like, <laughs> I've got a bow and arrow. So I peek over the hill again and just start <laughs> dropping them. And then I go and steal all his stuff. And he had a bunch of stuff that I couldn't carry. And apparently weight is a factor in this game. <laughs> and at this point, I was like, this game is dumb. I'm never. Yeah, I think I, it sounds like you were just very ill prepared for this quest that you went on yeah, yeah. like you I, would you would not you would not make it very far in a dungeons and dragons match no <laughs> I've, I've heard of it like, <laughs> first like, yeah, like it's yeah. easily like an eight hour thing and i'm just like no <laughs> like i you can't do. even play a game of monopoly the, the sound of you playing do. a game of monopoly i'm just like no oh, man. so you've never played risk then I don't even know what that game is. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Okay. So I hate. I'm gonna tell you what I hate. Yeah, so I think. I think like. I think like the dungeon master would be. You know, would just ask Grumpy. Okay. So like, you get to pick one item to start with. Do you want this backpack or do you want this feather? And Grumpy will be like, I will take the feather because reasons. And then he'll <laughs> he'll like he'll he'll go on his quest and he'll be like, Oh, I have nowhere to carry my stuff because I didn't pick the backpack. And then he blames, you know, the whole yeah. the whole quest line because it's stupid. Yeah. So, stupid. so this is what would happen. he flips. Would he flips the table, the table and it's just like <laughs> okay. Like I would, I would go to one of these games and not enjoy myself. Demand that we go to get Taco Bell, and then the next time I was ever invited to it, I would be like, "Well, I'm not playing. I'm here to ridicule you guys." Mm. I don't even think I would enjoy being the person who tells the story. Like, mm. there's like zero creativity up in here. So like, I uh, we could tell. There, there, it just wouldn't be. <laughs> like I just, I've, I love I've, it. I've talked to people who play like, like in real life friends, and I'm just like, how, how do you do it? You know, like, what, what exactly is the appeal? You know, and it just, I don't know. But then again, like, I also have a. Weird it's an imagination. It's, it's all about imagination, man. What, you don't you know have what? imagination. You know, you read a book. You're not gonna like it. Yeah. No, but grumpy. Have, all right, first of all, Sudo, the farmers don't ever tell me how to live my life again. Okay. Yeah, but- well, you like you like things that obviously appeal to you, and I think there's I something like things that, that appeal to me. I, I think for that I think there's for something that could appeal to you pretty good that Zen can take us down on the journey of, and that's My Hero Academia trading cards. I don't know because I've never tried to watch the show, and I probably never will. Good lord, <sighs> man! You are you you're like you you're. We Look, cannot I enjoy, please I enjoy, I enjoy Zen's happiness with this. Go ahead and, and explain it to us. I think we're about to, to motion to vote <laughs> you off the island here. Yeah, I, I I don't understand. Okay, so like, first of all, if you like Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> then you're going to like My Hero Academia. And you're, I'll probably never know. Why wouldn't Look, you watch Grumpy it? Grumpy is the type of person that won't try new foods because he doesn't want he doesn't know if he's going to like them or not, and he just wants to go get his Taco Bell instead. No, no, no. See, I, I like the new food thing. I just have to know if it's going to be spicy or not. Is it, and I, is it I, My I, Hero on Netflix? Probably. I don't know. Is it? I don't no, think it's so. It's on Funimation. It used to. No, it's on Funimation. Well, I have Funimation uh, yeah. too, so. All right. Well, then you can watch it. I mean, no. you're already paying for Funimation. You might as well watch it. I, it's, instead, I'm just rewatching Dragon Ball Z. Okay, well, this is better than Dragon Ball Z. No, um, I I personally like it more, and I love Dragon Ball Z. So that was my my favorite before. Anyways, uh, My Hero Academia. They are coming out with a card game. They actually have a card game that was out in Japan and uh, Korea, yeah. and I've opened the Korean cards, but they're coming out with a card game here in the U.S. They finally you know put together this nice website. I think it looks pretty cool. 
Uh, card list is coming soon. We still don't have a card list. Um, they are. They have a get involved link page, which doesn't seem to be working right now. None of the links are working. Oh, okay, okay, that that worked. Yeah, it took us Facebook. to a Mortal Kombat page on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, never mind. Anyways, uh, latest Let's news. Not click any of these links, they're not safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out what is happening here. Okay, this is you not broke it. Well, none of these are working now. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that seems fishy. They were well, they were working before. Uh, so I don't know what happened. I think, I think technical it broke. Errors, folks. Technical errors. Yeah. Anyways, products. So they've got a uh, two-player rival deck that's coming out, twenty nine mm-hmm. ninety nine. And, and that's that's uh, like a deck for two people to battle, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two players. Uh, you've got. Uh, uh, let me see. Fifty one rival box contains two fifty one card starter decks and two random ultra rares. That's pretty cool. So you get two random ultra rares from the game for a starter deck. That's pretty awesome. You never get that stuff in a Normally starter. You deck. just get like a set random, or not a random, but you just get like the match hand. Right, right. You get a set card. You get a set card. Right. This is actually two random ultra rares. Match amp. He did say match amp. Match amp. Match amp. Match amp. Um, and then they have the booster box. I'm gonna call it Student Feist from now on instead. Watch your mouth. So the booster box is 24 booster packs, and there's 10 cards in each pack. Um, Was that the and... same in the Japanese? Because I did. Are they? they... Increase the size of the. I, I don't know. I don't know. And there's not a lot of information out here on these. Um, I, I don't think this is the company that makes the Japanese cards. But, like, for example, this is actually pretty interesting. So, if you buy a booster box, it does say that players need at least one My Hero Academia collectible card game rival deck to use the cards within. Oh, wow. That's so, you thing. need. So, you need the deck in order to use or to play the game well i wonder if it's like hero or something like that that you can't get in the deck or in the box set you have to get from a deck or something something like that yeah then they have these um their deck loadable content and uh, players get even more of this exciting expansion pack containing new character cards for all might tenya uh chaco and Sue, it's color Sue. Sue, yeah. <laughs> you can't laugh about that, Grump. You don't want to watch the show. <laughs> so your thing that your happens in the is show. Null and void. This is pretty interesting. This contains 20 foil cards, four she character cards, powers. two of each character attacks, and two of each character's foundations. Players will be able to purchase two DLC packs to obtain a full play set. You mean of the players cards will inside. need to purchase? I'm sorry, players will need to purchase two DLC packs to obtain a full play set of the cards inside. So I guess you're allowed um, to use, you know, two of these to to play. And you also need a rival deck. So it looks like they've kind of intertwined everything. Like the rival deck, you need. 100%. You need to get a rival deck in order to play the game. And they're just money grabbing at that rate. <laughs> well, you I think know, it, it makes I, sense. I think it's cool because okay. they're not it's not like it's not like where Pokémon is like, "Oh, here here's a starter deck and it's got a set like list of cards and then um you know, like everything is interchangeable, but at the same time like the the cards that are in the deck are the cards you're going to get. Like mm-hmm. at least with the starter deck, you're getting two ultra rares that are random. I mean, well, that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get yeah, that. It, it's introducing like because this is going like, hey, we're creating this new game. We're putting out this new game on the market. Create new decks. You know, we're not right. going to tell you this is how you're supposed to play. Like a lot of the TCGs tend to do. Hey, here's a meta. Play with this meta. Here's just this color deck. They're going here. Here's the starter. Continue. Yeah. Like Magic used to do that. Magic used to be like, here's the basic little bit. Here, continue. You know, and then you'd have to buy the booster box and stuff. It's kind of cool. I like that. I so wonder it's, if the, it's a good concept. That character, the individual ones, if it's like the ones for that Weiss that you opened up, 
Mm -hmm. Um, I wonder if it's like that where you, you, if you buy a booster box or a case of that one particular, is it all going to be the same character and you have a chance of getting (laughs) like something fun out of there or is it fun? If this isn't Weiss though, they're not doing this. Yeah. This is a completely new. This is Universus. Yeah, this is uni- Universus. Yeah, uh, Jasco they- Games, Asmode, and uh, Universes. Who they do? So, can you buy this anywhere else but on this site? Like, do you know yeah. yet? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so you can just some buy stores. It. Yeah, so you can buy it done. on there on the Jasco website, right? Okay, you can buy the stuff there. Um, I, I know the Hydro Pump Poke Shop is going to be, or they have them up on there for pre-sale. Oh, nice. Um, Game nerds had them. Uh, I don't know if they still have them for sale. Uh, you can, yeah, they're 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 being distributed to all the yeah. All the there's a, there's actually quite a few game shops that uh, did some pre orders for them, and all the ones that I know and that I've been following, all sold out already. So, oh, wow. at, at least has a pretty decent sized following if people are buying yeah, them no, up pretty quick. I like the anime, so I'm, the not, I'm not very surprised. popular. Think about it this way: Do you like? DC movies, or do you like Marvel movies? Do you like comic Marvel? Books? Who are we asking, Sudan? Was this a you, rhetorical Mr. question? I don't want to watch things. I mean, right? I like you, Mister. I don't like writing. anything. <laughs> I I like like Marvel and DC, but I don't like keep up with it that hardcore. So imagine that superheroes mixed with Dragon Ball. What? Superheroes mixed with Dragon Ball. The, yeah, but the Dragon Ball people are superheroes. Yeah, but with real powers, not just aliens that can fly with their butt. <laughs> well, what about like Krillin and Yamcha and stuff? They were just Yamcha human. doesn't matter. Don't mention him ever again. I mean, I can know he's garbage, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Like, your new favorite person is Poir. No. All right, listen. Poir. So they do have a. If you want to learn how to play the game before it comes out, they have a how to play Ooh. on their like a website. PDF. It's a PDF with oh, all of the of information. Words. That is actually useful. Look at those cards. It's just like the Digimon. And sorry about yep. this though, on the audio side. Just like Digimon, huge icons, very little writing. This is, this is, this is very well done. I like. Yeah, this. the card emphasizes the art while still putting the little bits of information you need there in your face too. So. Right. I like it looks it. like it's not just regurgitated scenes from the show, like those white right. cards. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This this is look. I mean, if this is what the cards look like, I dig it. Mm-hmm. This is very, this is very Digimon Dragon Ball Super ish. Yeah. Style. You know. I, I like well, its basicness because it shows room for them to move on and do more. There's obviously, as you can see, scenes from the move from right. the shows, but those are same as Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball does that on some of like yeah. their option cards. Yeah. Hmm. Absolutely. Silence. No. I don't know. Maybe oh maybe God. one day oh in like ten cool. years I'll watch the show and all of this will make sense. Be, how many episodes are there? The there are. It's like five seasons. five seasons. But I mean, like how many episodes? Because in Dragon Ball terms, five that's like a hundred and eighty. It's not that as would much. Be getting you to the, about the Frieza saga. What? <laughs> Imagine it's not as it's not as long as Dragon Ball. It's not as long yeah. as Dragon Ball. I'm gonna look it up while you guys are talking. All right, you do that. It's about 80 right. episodes. <laughs> so, so, anyways, the point is, uh, if you do want to go check out My Hero Academia, uh, they do have the website. It's mhacardgame.com, and they've got the rules and all that stuff on there. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. I've bought several booster boxes. I bought all of the products so far. I do want to get one of the um, the play mats. I think I'm going to get the All Might play mat because it just looks really freaking awesome. Um, I want to know how his uh, eyes went dark. That's what I want to know. Because in, in flashbacks, <laughs> his eyes are not fully dark. Remember those? Yeah, I don't. I, don't really I still know. have to watch the anime. I've been yeah. trying. That's how I knew it wasn't on Netflix because I was looking it up the other day and I couldn't find it. So, I but I need to agree. The mat's cool. i this is this is one of those tcgs like digimon that i i i do want to get into and i do want to learn to play um it looks cool and honestly it's it's going to be fun knowing that some of you guys are going to be playing it and we'll have people to talk to you know about it and maybe even in the future 
have matches you know play against and stuff like that so it's it's yeah. another one of those things that i want to get into especially because like everybody else i'm kind of drawing down from pokemon a little bit on the the tcg side so yeah. now i will tell you I, I will tell you guys that the art on that on those cards that we just saw there is uh is a bit different than the ones that i have for the korean cards so i think it is going to be a different game um in fact i i believe let me see if i can show you guys real quick but by the way still pre-orderable on the hydro pump llc website yeah and it's cheaper than what um the 110 dollars on the that's the what i was hoping the actual be. website is so if you want it i would highly recommend going to hydro pump how much is yeah. it on their site 85 gonna... yeah it's like 85 so this is this is what the korean ones look like and these are like the rares um i mean they look cool but I don't like they're just taking screenshots pretty much of of the anime itself. Um, and even the, the like the card the layout is and all that kind of stuff yeah. is different. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. got gravity powers. She does. Now he even blows he, things up. He Thanks, does. Pseudo. Sorry, sorry, you're dead. <laughs> but but these cards, I mean, they look pretty cool, even uh even like with the fact that they're you know Korean or whatever the case is, but like See, this is called Tag Card Game, and I think the the one that's coming to English is just a CCG collectible card game. So it's yeah. it's a different it's a different game. It's a different card game altogether. Um, so it should be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, ah, I am too. Ah. <laughs> it's it's a good anime. I encourage everybody who's not closed minded to watch it and, uh, and, and check out that ATCG. And you said when is it coming out? Uh, it, it, official releases this year. They haven't really specifically said Triggered. yet. So yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't see. So on Hydro Pump Shop, it says October 29th, but that yeah. that could just be a placeholder date as well. So we just well, know it's going to come out at some point this a year. A couple <laughs> of places I've seen uh, that be the case, um, where they've posted that. So I think that that's what the distributors are saying. Um, although this game has already been pushed back once because it was supposed to come in 2020 oh, and they, they pushed it back. And I don't know if that had to do with the pandemic or if that had to do with whatever the case was, maybe they were like, well, this is probably just a bad time to start a brand new TCG since nobody can play. You know what I mean? So, so I think it's safe to say for now, expected release date is October 29th. It's yeah. pre but Halloween time frame. Yep. Yeah, if you want to get pre-orders in, I would recommend doing them sooner rather than later. Um, you never know when people are going to start selling out of it yeah, and marking up the price. Yes, so um, right. getting your pre-order in is a good way to so go. It's in that one. I wonder if we, I know Zen and I were talking about the anime specifically a couple of days ago, and we were like kind of like questioning and it goes along with what we were saying earlier does this go how long will the longevity of this card game go will it how long can the anime go i think it could go for another few years few dozen years just because the way they write it and i think that if the card game comes through it can help with that legacy building and the building of that community and i think it could if it's a good game heck yeah so is the anime still going on right now or is it is it already over no, it's currently going. They like yeah, cool. haven't even gotten okay, to the cool, major, cool. major point yet. Like I said, I don't really know much about it, so I just kind of wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It really is good. It, it's uh, it's got a very good story to it, so should be you know it's a fun it's fun anime to watch. Like I said, I'm, like, I, like I, I'm gonna get into it eventually. I just yeah, gotta like figure said, out a way to watch it. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z was my absolute favorite anime, and this I really do feel like it. It has become my favorite. So, I mean, nice. that's how highly I think of it. You know, not bad. Yeah. I mean, that, that should speak to it. But <laughs> I have no idea what Sudan just said. But <laughs> I don't either. I have no idea. What he said. <laughs> so we got some hey, hey, celebrations hey, 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 to talk about. Yeah. Hey, so, so to uh, to kind of help close out this episode of the podcast, we have some celebration stuff to show off. Um, Zen kind of alluded to it a little bit earlier on that, um, you know, his buddy, uh, Pokemon legend sent him something. So, uh, Zen, do you want to, you want to talk about it a little bit and show it off? Cause I think everybody's looking yeah. forward to that. 
we did this yeah, in a couple episodes, right? Where we talked yeah. about this. We did. We talked about it, but we never showed anything because we didn't have the cards in hand. But now yes. we do. Now yes. we have the cards in hand. All right. So here's what we've got, guys. A matless floor. Now, Pokemon Legends TV did open that open this stuff on his channel. So just if you want to go see the opening itself, the full opening, you can go check that out. But he did send me these cards, and he sent me the pack. Uh, this is one of the packs that uh, that basically he he opened, and it feels like a 100% legitimate pack. It looks like a legitimate pack to me. Clean open. It was a very... I've never, ever in my life opened a pack this clean. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. He literally... I mean, he did. A He's phenomenal. very careful. My goodness! I mean, I have never been able to accomplish I mean, anything near that good. I forgot <laughs> what set it was in the more recent times, but there was a set that felt super like not loose in that sense, but yeah. easy to pull apart. So maybe you know, yeah. maybe Celebrations is going to be one of those. It could be. Well, yeah, you think it would have disintegrated. Look how there's no the, like rips, tears, or anything like that. But it looks like a legitimate pack. That's cool. Yeah. It, yeah. it it really does, and it feels like a legitimate pack. Uh, the there is a roller line here on the pack itself, um, but other than that, it looks like a. I mean, it looks it looks legit. There's no blurriness to any of the of the stuff. Normally, when you get a fake, like there's you know there's a little bit of blur or the it's print quality like is not there. Pixelation. Yeah, I mean they it's, did. Yeah, usually air, the coloring is, is kind of off too. This is all. This is a legitimate. I mean, they really, really. I mean, they even have you know the celebration expansion contains you know forty five cards. So like this, this really does it, it, it. I think they're real. I think they're real. Um, let's take a look really quick now. One of the things that I did was uh, he did send me one of these uh, PTCGO uh, codes, and I have confirmed that. It, does work in the PTCGO. Now, I could not act, claim it because uh, it said it, 35 days until uh, claim. So basically, uh, as you can see here, it says celebrations. It even has the code here, EN, English, Sword, Shield, Celebrations. Uh, I'm not sure what the ST is. Beast. Huh? Beast. Okay. Celebration Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. But. Yeah, I doubt. Uh, I highly doubt that. But uh, I can uh, tell you, I've looked at this, compared it to a code, a real code, same exact, same exact cardboard. Um, I mean, it, I, it just feels, looks the same. It's, it's, it's. Hey, can you turn that code back over real quick? Yeah. I'll put on my tin so foil hat. There's one difference I see on there. The that I, I see. Well, <laughs> besides that, um, I have a vivid voltage code in front of me, and um, at at the bottom of the light gray on the top, it says on yours the 2014 the Pokemon Company International uh, trademark. Mm -hmm. This one that I'm holding in my hand of vivid voltage says 2015 Pokemon Easily Company International TM. 2014 that I have in my hand. Oh. So yeah, what right. I wonder I what the difference is. Twenty fifteen. So yeah, I, so I wonder what the difference is then because why why do they have is that years? Is yours a is yours a green code or it is a green code? Okay, so yellow. so this is a white code. So maybe, maybe that's yeah. the difference. Maybe that's the difference. Okay, well hey, we're learning. Can someone something confirm here. with another white code? Uh, I can confirm. Hold on, give me a second. Well, yes, I, I was that is that is, that is indeed that is indeed the case. Oh, yep, so, yep, I'm seeing it, too. Theory hat yeah, on here, and I think green. they just print out a bunch of those blank cards and then just print a bunch of them on, print your codes on there. Well, I think, I think, I think what happened was they, oh, they were all green codes in 2014. I remember that they were all the same, and then they added the white codes to counter the the weight differences. Um, so yeah. I think that's what, what it was. So 20, okay. the, the 20... The 2015 is the green code. They put those in afterwards. So there's that. Um, the other thing is the cards. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is this clay doll. 
And this card is very interesting. And the reason why I'm going to take it out of here just so you guys can see it. But what's really interesting about the clay doll. Wow. Look at that. Is it is a textured card. And I know there's oh, a yeah, lot of glare there. That. But it is a full art texture on this card. So if you look it's at any lines, of, yeah. yes, if you if you look at any of your full arts, you'll see all of the different little lines. And oh, so that this, goes down the card all the way, all the way from the top to the bottom of the card. It is a full art textured card. Now this is, uh, you know, it's got the twenty fifth logo on there. The logo itself, the tw the cheeks, uh, are hollowed. Oh wow, that does look pretty cool. And. You know the 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 set number here. Obviously, you can see is um, DP BP number three ninety seven, and then fifteen. Does that say two thousand eight? Because that's a reprinted clay doll. Yes. Yeah. So these cards are all going to have. It's going to look one hundred percent like the original, mm -hmm. minus the Pikachu stamp and the um, texture on it. Now, right. does it have the fading on the back that, like, uh, Chili Raid and stuff had? You have the pulls? I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there was a slight fade to a lot of the, like, the, the rares and the, the ultra rares and stuff on the back. Yeah, okay. the, in the coloration. So, so there is no, there, yes, I did notice a difference in the back. Um, there is no difference in color. There is is a difference and this is one of the things that threw me off a little bit and i when i saw that i was like i'm not sure if this is real or fake but all of the cards that i had compared them to like if you look at this card it's not glossy it's not mm -hmm. very glossy at all it's kind of like Com chilling rain and well that's the thing is i actually have chilling rain that is glossy and chilling rain that's not glossy mm. but Here's, here's an example. And these are just regular. Um, I don't remember. I don't know what this is. This is a new set that just came out. This is Evolving Skies, right? I think this is yes. Evolving Skies. So these are both Evolving Skies. And there's a difference in the print. So hmm. let me see if I can figure, if I can show this. Uh, which one's which? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely seeing some of okay. my own. Okay, here we go. Here you go. All right, so these are the two Evolving Skies cards. Now you can see if you look at the 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 one on the left here, if you look, there's like these little like gloss marks all throughout. Mm -hmm. This card doesn't really have that. This mm -hmm. one, it's, it's very very less glossy. It's like but, more flat. Yes, it's more of a flat color. However, the, the colors medicine. themselves are pretty much the same. As far as I can tell. But this is the clay doll. The clay doll, what threw me off was all the cards that I had looked at were flat. I mean, were, were glossy. And the clay doll was flat. And I said, ooh, that's not good. That can't, you know, that can't be right. But then I went and I started looking through all my cards. And I was like, wait a minute. Check that out. This is from a, a, a pack. These are packs that I just opened up. So I'm either guessing... These came from a different factory, a yeah, different printer, different printer, or they just forgot to gloss the back of the card. I don't know. But, well, look at the color, the red color in the Pokeballs, too. Yeah. The one on the right is definitely more faded, which matches the clay doll. Right. So th those are definitely newer prints than the right. one on the left. Right. So that, I mean, that threw me off big time. Um, but now that I've, confirmed it with one of my cards i and I, I have seen other ones as well so um i think i think they're real and the front i really couldn't tell much of a difference i looked at hollows that i have and i they they looked they looked normal uh the only difference that i could tell was the back so that was the clay doll the kyogre are real pokemon I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't we agree that Claydol wasn't a real Pokemon? It does. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, well, apparently <laughs> oh, it does because it's in the 25th. But this is the Kyogre now. The oh, Kyogre I one's like interesting. That. I really yeah. wish they would have done the same full art texture on the Kyogre, but they didn't. It's just a hollow. It's just a regular hollow, and it's not even like. It's just a hollow. 
You know what I'm well, saying? Like there's no there's no swirls, there's no star pattern, there's no nothing. It's just hollow. But you know, it, it kind of confirms the theory that um like Pokey Guardian and Pokey Beach, I think we're the the front runners on all this too, were saying that each pack comes with four cards. The first three cards are gonna be hollows guaranteed, mm-hmm. and the fourth card is always gonna be like a you know a special Texture. type card. Yeah. Right. So even that clay doll, even though it's you know technically a hollow card, it's they made it a full art textured card. Right. So that's going to be kind of cool, at least. that You're going to have, like, regular hollows, and then you're going to have, like, full art hollows. What's the rarity on the clay doll? Um, Let's see here. Rare? It just says rare, yeah. It's just rare. It's just a star. I think they're all rares. Yeah, Yeah. they're all rares. I don't understand why they didn't just go with the full set of, uh, of textures. How are you going to tell what's the pull? Well, I guess your pull is going to be whatever the last card is. Your yeah, texture, the reprint card. like this is. I mean, this is this is probably this is your pull right here, technically. Well, yeah, because even like the the full art textured ones that you're going to get as like your quote unquote pull is going to have that McDonald's hollow style pattern and be fully textured. Oh, so. set symbols. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm paying attention. And I guess all the regular <laughs> cards, you know, quote unquote regular cards, will say 2021 Pokemon at the bottom. Yeah, any cards made. Oh, in yeah, yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. So this is not a reprint. Um, a cool art. Well, yeah, it I even it. says it too. It says number three out of 25 on that one as well. So, yeah, right. the, it looks like the regular Why hollows does it say are 0, all... 0, 003 out of 0, 025 and not just 0, 03 out of 0 or out of 25. Yes. It's the aesthetic well, they chose. It's yeah, they wanted to keep it in line with because I mean, when's the last time Pokemon's come out with a set that's been less than three digits? Hmm, yeah, I guess that's fair. Well, that, well that's I, I I mean, but back in the day, they used to just do fifteen out of one hundred five, one hundred six, but they kind of changed it to be like, okay, well, there's three digits at the end, so we might as well make it three digits in the front. Some guy named I, Steve I think that was the that's just the way they do it. I think that was a sword and shield change too. Yeah, I think so. But this is pretty cool. I mean, I was not, uh, I mean, I knew I was getting the cards because he told me he was going to send them to me. It was just out of the blue though. I wasn't really expecting it. He just messaged me one day and he was like, Hey, I'm opening up these, uh, you know, these celebrations packs that I got. And, um, and he gave me some information on it and we talked about it on the podcast and all that stuff. But, uh, we showed his video as well, um, but uh, but then he said, I'm going to send you a couple of cards so you can take a look at them. Um, he was questioning whether they were real or not. Uh, he did the rip test on one card that he had, and he, he said it looked real. Um, so, I mean, he just wanted to send these out to a couple of different creators. I think he sent them out to, to some others as well. And... Uh, for confirmation that they're real and and just to show off on the on our channels so that was really cool of him because he didn't have to do that especially with the fact that these are so these are going to be like so hard to get i mean once once a set comes out um these are probably not going to be that hard to get but still it's you know it's something that like he could have easily have said i want to get these graded you know what i mean Mm -hmm. yeah Um, especially because right now they're the only ones out there in the wild yeah they're they're out in the wild and they're, you know. Yeah, you, you could get these graded exploited right that. <laughs> I mean, I could. Yeah, I, I could definitely get these graded. I don't, I don't know what the conditions are on them. I, I mean, I've looked them over very well. They actually look like they're in pretty good condition overall. Um, I think the Kyogre's got a couple white spots in like one of the corners. Uh, but uh, let me see here. Right there, it's got some whitening there. Um, the centering looks pretty decent. I don't see much issue with the centering on this. The hollow doesn't look like it's got any scratches or print lines, so that's a good thing right there. I mean, this card could easily get a uh, a nine or a ten if they if they don't really grade the the whitening too harshly. Um, and then the clay doll, I don't really. No, I didn't really see anything on it that is concerning. Um, Those ones are a little harder to detect, though. 
it is textured. Like that. Yeah, that's the hard part is the texture. You don't know if there's anything in there. Like you'd have to really look at it with a microscope and, and see. But um, the back looks pretty good. I know there's like a little white spot up here oh, and a uh, little white spot over here. Oh, wait, no, that was never mind. That was on the uh, sleeve. It was a little top heavy. A little bit. This one's a little top heavy. Um, yeah, so centering is not 100%. But, I mean, it's not a huge deal. So, I mean, I think that these cards could probably get, you know, a 9, uh, most likely. Uh, so, but it's it's pretty cool. He sent them. He sent the, the code, and he sent the pack. So, I want to show that with, uh, you know, with, to you guys, and, and so you guys can see it. Um, <clears throat> Super cool follow-up to that, honestly. Yeah, yeah, pretty much a confirmation yeah. that they're a hundred percent. Yeah, well, I know. I was one of the people that are saying, "Ah, oh, they don't look real." Certain parts of it didn't look right. I, I mean, I, I'll be one of the first to admit I was wrong, and I'm happy that I was wrong because it's cool that they look weak. Yeah. Well, know? It, it's it's hard to tell though without actually having them in your hands. And I mean, Zen's got a really nice camera, you know, and putting it up close, and we kind of got to see much better quality of it. So, yeah, so even so, point. I mean, like when he sent me the pictures and all that stuff, like I still had doubts because, mm -hmm. yeah, it very, it's very difficult to tell through pictures or to tell through a video if a card is real, um, unless there's something blatantly wrong with it and it's like very easy to detect. Um, but See, these were so good, yeah. See, I was, I was basing it off of this, like why did they suddenly go with the silver when it's been the 25th has had this white sorry about this on the audio side but i'm holding up the mcdonald's or the the actual this is the cereal pack yeah uh they have the white 25th on the back instead of that silver that they had there that was one of the first things that made me go wait that doesn't feel like it's right but <laughs> then that pack that pack is gorgeous you know yeah um I like the silver. I, I like that. I think the darker look on it makes it more sleek. Well, I think that the silver makes the got to catch them all letters pop a little bit more mm -hmm. than the Maybe white. The little silhouettes in the background. I kind of see more of the characters back there now. Yeah. 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 So, um, I, yeah, I mean, I think the, the pack art is pretty good. Uh, I like it. Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to this set. I, I'm hoping that. You know we're going to be able to get it and i'm hoping everybody is able to to grab some because that's going to be the hard part is um you know getting a, a hold of of all of the products i know GameStop was doing pre-orders we uh they're I've still doing some i think are they okay i i mean i was able to grab some of the pre-orders i know that they were canceling some they came back and corrected that but they did that right so that's good i mean it looks like people might be um might be able to grab some of the stuff. So. Yeah, keep Fingers keep crossed. going to your local card shops as long as they're not scalping. You know, products yeah. giving you scalped product prices. Um, keep checking with them because even like my local card shop said that um, their numbers that their their estimates of what they're supposed to get keep fluctuating. So they might say one week, "Hey, we might only be getting you know five ETBs total." But then next week, you know, might could be 10 or 12. So just keep checking with them, too, so, and seeing if you can do pre-orders. You yeah. know how they were talking about this set is going to be, like, printed to the ground and everything because they really wanted to make sure everyone could get their hands on stuff? Obviously, I don't know if this picture is legit, but I had seen a picture going around from a GameStop that was talking about, I guess, as a whole, how much the company was allocated. And for some of it, it was like 7,000 cases of something, which, I mean, I guess there's a lot of GameStops, but... You know, just giving you an idea that's just from GameStop, where it's like not including Target, Walmart, and you know, the countless well, other places and stuff. So, let's, I mean, you know, Pokemon specifically came out and said that they are doing their best to print Evolving Skies, focused on Evolving Skies and on celebrations. Mm. I, I have no doubt that they are going to print the heck out of celebrations. There may be some products that are going to be more allocated than others because every set is like that. There's always yeah. for special products, which, you know, sucks sometimes because you're like, okay, I want this promo or I want this special box because of this. And then they make it very limited. 
Mm. And then you're like, well, I kind of want the whole set. So now I got to go buy this card. And then it's <laughs> right. super expensive. You know? We're looking at you, premium collection box. Yeah. yeah. See, that's exactly. that's the one. That and the uh, the Pikachu plush box. I don't know. Yeah. I think oh, that one's only like goodness. a $50 it's box. I say not a plush. Only, but whatever it is, man. Like, I imagine that box is going to take up a lot of shelf space. So, yeah. you know, if you walk into your Walmart, you're looking at maybe there being like four or five on the shelf, like absolute max. Yeah. And in that case, if you have Scalper Joe and, you know, Frank come in and they wipe the <laughs> shelf, you know, you never happen to see that. And it makes like that that figure yeah uh cost more or the promo in the you know the other box where they're like the golden metallic promos which that's like i really just want those promos but because i'm yeah. sure those boxes are going to get scalped hard it's going to be hard to just buy the promos because you figure for 120 dollars on that box people aren't going to want to just give them away for ten dollars so I, I want the right. etb box for my etb collection i gotta do this <laughs> so I, I i as a collector i want to have one of the open ETBs for each one I can. Yeah. I'm already screwed on the Pokemon Center ones. And, and they're already I, doing two different ones, right? Because they Pokemon Center is doing their own, and yeah. then they're doing a regular? Or is there more than one regular? I think well, it's just the one regular one. Well, I think they have the regular one, and then they, they're going to have, like, the special... Premium. Don't they have, like, that special, like, premium one as well? Yeah. When you say premium, you mean the exclusive one? The Pokemon Center? No, they have... Or? No, they have like a premium one that's like got more packs and more. So there's stuff essentially three of them, I guess. Probably. Damn it. Yeah, there's probably going to be three of them. Yeah. So well, again, yeah. oh, that's what we talked about earlier. It's like, yeah, yeah, just like, let's make 50,000 different products with the same exact stuff in it, but a little bit of a variation, just enough. And it's the same approach that they have with video games. And they've always had with video games. <laughs> let's make, let's make two game video games at the same exact time, but we're going to give you. Just a couple Pokemon over here that you can't get over here and the other way around. And then and you're then like, it, well, then I a year later, it. it's here's your special version that has everything yes. from both games included. <laughs> right. So, I'm, I mean, we're not surprised that that is Pokemon's business model is. Yeah. I mean, it works. Out, it works. <laughs> it's working for them. Clearly, it's working for them. But like that's, hat on again. that's the hard part. <laughs> and it, it really makes things difficult to collect because, like, with celebrations, you're looking at. I think uh, somebody did the math on it. Uh, if you were to buy one of each product, you're looking at almost five hundred dollars worth mm -hmm. of product. Yeah. It's like four fifty to four seventy five <laughs> at MSRP. And, you know what? And that's at funny MSRP. because I think that memories box, the Charizard Sylveon combo. <clears throat> I don't know if that was a box that was listed at the beginning. So that could even be a new edition. Yeah, they surprised us with that one. So that's like well, I thought, $40. I, I, I thought that they were separate. I thought we they, had... Well, we do. Well, I'm sorry. There were. is a separate one. There is a yeah. separate one, right? Because you've got the Charizard. You've got the Charizard that is uh, Blaine's Charizard, right? And it, it's uh, got, Lance's. Oh, Lance's, oh, I'm Charizard. Sorry, Lance's Charizard. And he, it's Lance and Charizard on the card. And then you've got the Sylveon, which is a separate one. So the Dark Sylveon. Yeah, so now you've got now you've got like a combined box. It's yeah, like, what? And so see, real quick for the for boxes, they haven't shown the promos. It's it's just led you to yeah they have the, have they? Because I'm looking at GameStop right now. No, no, you got to go to Pokemon's actual page. Like Pokemon's official page has put the cards in there. So the jumbo card is going to be the Lance's Charizard with. The smaller version, the regular version of Lance Charizard, and then the regular version of the Dark Souls. I was I was getting a little worked up and worried. So. No, no, no. I, I had to do the same thing, but um, just real quick for for those of you who are listening, if you want to pre-order this from GameStop, it's a little little secret that I don't think a lot of people know yet. When you go to GameStop and ask for the pre-order on it, it's not going to pop up if they type in Pokemon Celebrations. You have to have them type in Memory, Memory. Collection. Yeah. And then that that one Charizard Sylveon box is going to pop up because my game store or my GameStop was trying to do that to me where they said they were all out. And then when I had them type in memory collection, it popped up and they had plenty of pre-orders. It basically said it looked like nobody had pre-ordered it. Like, think about this. This is a Charizard box. So it's it's one of the only ones actually available. And it's a mm -hmm. Charizard. So if it was going to sell out, AKA they're still like literally just went on GameStop right now and I can still pre-order it. Yeah, they still how have much allocation is there for that? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I don't think especially with the in in person local 
GameStop. I don't think a whole lot of people know about you have to type in memory collection in mm-hmm. order to pre-order. I think most people just go, I want that celebrations pre-order. And when they go, sorry, we're sold yeah. out. They kind of yeah. just give up and walk away. So I don't know. It could be both, though. It could be a combination of they're printing a lot and not many people know about, you know, actually being specific. Well, the right. interesting thing is that that box itself does not say celebrations at all. Well, I'm sorry. The box does say celebrations. The the GameStop name. name does not say celebrations on it. So when even if you did search it on GameStop and you look for Pokemon celebrations, that particular box with the Charizard and Dark Sylveon don't show up. If, if exactly, you're, if you're listening and or you know whether you're watching or just listening, if you want to pre-order it from GameStop online, just go to GameStop and type in Pokemon Memories, and it's like the only thing that pops yeah. up. And then, and this box is forty dollars. It's thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, it releases ten eight. And just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what it's got in it, uh, you're looking at a foil promo featuring Lance's uh, Charizard V. You got a foil promo of Dark Sylveon V. You have six Pokemon TCG uh, celebrations packs, two additional booster packs. You've got a collector's pin featuring Sylveon. Metallic Pokemon coin featuring Charizard, which looks like it's one of the big, bigger coins. It's not like the little mm-hmm. ones. Little um, and then you've got a foil oversized card featuring Lance's Charizard, an information sheet, and a code card for the TCG Online. So it's got quite a bit of stuff on there. Um, and I mean, it's forty dollars, but I think it's I think it's worth it if you're a Charizard fan and you want to collect that Charizard or a Dark Sylveon fan and well, you want to get those promos. Yeah, it's those are going to be some popular cards to get too. Let's be real, especially yeah. the Charizard and then Sylveon's a, a fan favorite too. So that's a really good price for what you're getting. It's yeah, well and you worth can it. pre-order it right now. For yeah, and it is, <laughs> it's one of the only celebrations items that are it's still available right now so if you wanted it you could get it now and it would be interesting to see how much they are printing it because like like you said it's still available so maybe they they've got a whole bunch of it but um i mean we'll see uh if you need to get your celebrations fix and you're not sure if you're going to be able to get any of the other products then pre-order this and at least you can get some celebrations packs opened up you know what i mean Mm -hmm. that's the way Mm -hmm. i see it it's a good way to get some, yeah. Uh, they, I actually got some of the tins. I was able to uh, pre-order some of the tins. Yeah, the mini tins from them, which was you know pretty cool because the mini tins are actually your best bang for your buck because um, of the price per pack that's in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, mini tins yeah. are eight ninety nine. I think they come with three packs. They come with two. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? The two of the uh, celebrations packs and one regular. I just wonder how much that's going to be jam packed in there. You know what I mean? Well, remember the celebrations packs are only for. Yeah, but I'm thinking like the fact that the tin itself is not long enough for the pack. So you've got an extra pack, you know, like the whatever this pack is made out of all jammed up in there. Hopefully it's not a problem, but like I I only want those. You're right there, suit on. To get the Kanto and the Johto. I I just saw some things I'm I'm upset about. Oh, Oh, okay. (laughs) <laughs> double double diamond parallel baby cards for box toppers. They revealed oh. the English ones, and they look great. Oh, okay, cool. There you go. So more Digimons. All right. So, um, yeah, Ren. I, I guess, uh, like you said, this is this is something to look at. Um, I also yep. we need to mention that we have a sponsor, PokeCharles.com. Insert ad here. This podcast is sponsored by PokeCharles.com. PokeCharles.com is a family-run small online retailer currently providing Pokemon products from the most current sets on the market to graded cards and storage needs. Offering sealed booster boxes, elite trainer boxes, premium collection boxes, toolkit boxes, boxes and boxes, and even more boxes. PokeCharles.com has all your box needs, plus many other options to choose from. Loyalty points? That's right! Every dollar you spend at PokeCharles.com, you earn points to redeem a reward. Join PokeCharles VIP Patreon family! This is an exclusive shopping and content section just for the Patreon VIP members. Free shipping on all orders! Visit PokeCharles.com and make sure you're subscribed to the podcast to catch the latest and greatest codes to get more cash off your next purchase, taking you one step closer to becoming richer with savings. PokeCharles.com, head over to there now. I really Um, tried to fill in the Harley roll with a couple rants. 
So, oh, I you, you definitely good. did that. You did well, man. You did good, <laughs> Mr. I, Fallout. Now, I might try to be an actor now because it, I mean, <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, let's just take it one step at a time. At, yeah. least, at least we got you to. At least we got you to talk in this episode. Other than you know, not like the last one where you have to watch silence. things. <laughs> So that's true. Yeah. Let's see if we can get you to watch my hero at some point when you're yeah, done with yeah. Dragon Ball. If you're maybe ever, maybe if you're by next week. Ball. Look, I will say I he did just finally go Super Saiyan, and oh, he's yeah. in the midst of beating the hell out of Frieza. So nice. so what are you that's episode cool. like three three hundred and fifty seven or something? It, it's literally like ninety six. So finally got to that like point. Three hundred fifty seven <laughs> episodes of Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, they um, ended. They ended as with, soon as he went say, Super Saiyan. came with that uh, clap back right there. Well, I just finished Fairy Tale, and that was three hundred. I, I still have no idea what that is. Hold on, how did, didn't you just start that like a week or so ago? Listen, man, I I work fast, bro. <laughs> Jesus, I move fast, dude. I you waste no time. The hell out of things, man. Right, so here's the thing: I, with Dragon Ball, I've literally got it down to a science. You don't got to watch the beginning. You skip ahead to about three, three and a half minutes because once you get through the opening and all that, you do the same thing with Fairy Tale. But I mean, it's literally like. 15 on the high side like 16 and a half minutes per episode yeah but i'm still on like the most i've watched in a day and this is painful to say is maybe like 25 I that's mean, it that's that's fine i just <laughs> that's still a whole day of binging so that's what yeah. i'm saying like i mean maybe ren understands i just feel weird when i actually watch that many at some point my brain is kind of just like do you realize how much you've watched? Yeah, I wish I had the time to just do that though, because I well, would you totally... could stop trying to. Stop I used the to do guy it. at work. I used to do it with Thinking the office. That, that you know, all that uh, that stuff you got to work. Listen, and, yeah. I, I've taken down just about the entire crime syndicate, so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now they know that he's after them. <laughs> hey, and you know what though? It's working because there's product still on the shelf days later. You can thank your local Ren Flanders. When you go to Walmart, small cop, and you see small, stuff. cop small cop, Ren Flanders. I mean, you know, am I a hero? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I kind of am. I kind of am. <laughs> Everybody, go down in the chat. I don't call comment. Thank you, Ren hero. Flanders, uh, for your efforts and you know what you what you put your body on the uh, on the line for us and stuff, That's right. so we can go through the store and get our product how we all, want. All for that shiny cardboard. Yeah. Doing that's good. that's what makes me the king of the cardboard addicts here. So one one day Zen, we're gonna see like a like Ren's gonna be dressed up like as a like a like a box display, just like somehow he's sitting there perfectly still watching someone, and then he's just like, oh, I got him this time, <laughs> <laughs> got him, boys. But they're just like, hey, buddy, you can go home. Like it, it's like your second day off that you're still here, and he's just like, I'm that committed. It's too yeah, bad. They, I mean, it's too bad they wouldn't let you film that at the Walmart and have you like do a skit for us. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, well, that see would be my family. Be four I days, love. I, I mean, let's protect the Pokemon gods. I think it would be. <laughs> it, would, it would be hilarious if like you were. You know, you you had video footage of you taking somebody down. Can you that get a highlight reel, Ren? <laughs> highlight reel. Like it's a like uh, did you ever see out? did you ever see that uh the video was it uh Terry Cruz or not Terry Cruz what was his name Terry Tate the office linebacker Oh that's those are the best uh, commercials How, <laughs> first, no. first of all Ren just shook his head no How Wow you know, all right you're obviously you after not, this episode I like expect Terry Tate watching. to come out of nowhere and take Ren out right now <laughs> that's, I know that's right? Just, <laughs> <laughs> But like can you get a highlight reel like that like Can we make sure that they're actual bad guys yeah, don't don't like get you know, Susan. I who cannot just confirm argued over the tonight. price or something. <laughs> like... <laughs> Listen, the the people that I've actually stopped, per my job, have been people who've actually stolen product, not I not somebody so. that I just don't like, or somebody that you know took three packs when the limit's two. I mean, they no, like they've legitimately had 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 to stolen something before or in that moment for me to be able to do something or else i wouldn't have a job as the register the limit is two yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like as, as the register comes alive across that third product all of a sudden you just see like on their camera screen it's just ren flying through the air it's, like tackling. he's got 
Yeah, he's he's trying to scan that product, and all of a sudden, no one. Like, ah, oh, man, that'd be a perfect skit. It, uh, that for whatever reason, that reminds me of uh, the movie Superbad when the kid has to try to steal the alcohol and he's like the security guards looking at him he's like don't do it kid he's just like but i have to (laughs) (laughs) oh man oh my god all right well ladies and gentlemen let's end this here uh, before uh grumpy continues to say words that are gonna get us yeah i think i think grumpy just he he took carly's role way too seriously in this one (laughs) but hey we thank you guys all for joining us um like every other episode we wouldn't be here without you guys so we we greatly appreciate you all and uh we look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode so we'll see you guys then peace